Can you see? Oh, that wide angle lens is so nice. I can actually get you in there a little bit more. Check it out. And the plane down there. Oh. Yeah. Plane's live at the moment. I'm gonna disarm it. Wait, blast is off. Why we talk about this. <laughs> disarm, so this shouldn't go. Perfect. So we've been armed for five minutes and sixty almost six minutes. And we ran down, we got 18 minutes of flight time left. So I calculated with the new prop and the new stuff, if we run it at 30 amps, we could still get 20 minutes of flight time. And that's full power. So if we bring it back some, we still might get like 30 to 40 minutes flight time, which is still pretty good time. We'll see about all those numbers. Hey, you were on the entire time. Oh yeah, I was filming the whole time. You want to say anything nice? Hi. That's nice? I don't know. You don't know? No. You have to speak up if you can. All right, so, um, yeah, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the last flight. I told myself I was going to go fly this plane on my birthday, and, and, it's been, and it's been windy for months, and it was calm that day. That day. So we just, we prepared ourselves, we went over there, and we got, and we flew it. And, uh, well, how did that go? It kind of failed and crashed. It didn't have enough lift. Didn't have enough lift. To that's, stay in the air. That's right. So, so it crashed two times. <laughs> it crashed. It hard landed. It uh, it didn't technically it did crash. Go, it just went, yeah, we did uh, we did manage to uh, ruin a couple of props when we hit the ground. But we did? Yeah. Oh my land. But um, well actually the the prop that's on there is still the, the one we used on the last that's the one that hit the ground real hard the second you time. You mean the one that rolled? The first one actually is still not too bad. Yeah, the one that rolled. So the wheel did not. Uh, the wing did not crack. So, so we hard landed it twice, and, and then it one of them rolled. Yeah, and we were trying to basically create a really efficient, long flying plane. And so what we did is we limited everything, or actually we maximized everything for the controllers, but it was on the lower end of the limit for enough lift. Basically, yeah. we didn't have enough airspeed. I also probably didn't have all my parameters set right in the Ardru pilot. That's my fault. Um, so, I put a new motor controller and now using a internal, um, one of these guys. Let me just open this one so you can see it. So I was I originally... I made one of those. I was going to make one, but I'm, I didn't have, I don't have the time and these were only 12 bucks, so I just bought it. So we have these power modules, I bought two of them. And basically these give me the voltage and the current and send that back to the, um, BeagleBone. Now I've modified that one with a resistor to create lower voltages and I put a divider resistor to give us the 3.3 volt slash 5 volt down to a 1.8 volt or less. So anyway, this works really well. After I modified it, the original controller is here. It was a VESC and I did all the programming to use the CAN bus data which ultimately this controller only runs to 6000 electrical ERPM. That motor can run way faster than that. I think we were only running that motor at about eight, or uh, excuse me, at about uh, four to six thousand RPM. I think it was actually like four and a half thousand RPM. Four and a half thousand RPM. Right now, that motor, that motor with no prop on it will run sixteen thousand RPM. That's like four times as fast as what this was running. So, nope, nope. So with all that said, um, I spent some more time after I had the time in Ardru Pilot and understood the flight modes and understood what I was trying to do and then upgraded the controller and got the voltage and current working. And then um, then I realized, well, I'm running with a six cell battery and the controller and the motor can handle six cell. Uh, if you at full power with the wrong prop, you'll burn the motor up. It pulls about 1,300 watts. The motor's only rated for 850 or so. So that means it'll burn up in the air, Riley. So, yeah, so I have a, uh, this is a four, 13 by four prop and a 13 by six prop. So the 13 by six prop at full power is right at the maximum rated power for the motor. Fucking yawning. Stop it. And uh, the other one here though, it'll pull like 1300 watts. So that'll burn the motor up. So in uh, Arju Pilot, which I can show you under the settings, uh, inside of the parameters, you can actually set a lot of the 
values. I'll show you the plane too, but you can set a lot of the values and one of the values that you can set is the maximum wattage. So it's pretty cool, but that only works in the modes such as stabilize and, and, uh, and these kinds of things. If you put it in manual, you can override that, so you do need to be careful. But I've got all the parameters for that set up. So as you can see right here, there is my little meter so I can determine the wattage. Here's the little controller, the one that I modified for reading the battery voltage, and then everything else is in here. And uh, this is what we currently have. So I'm going to do a quick little test, Riley. Are you yawning again? Looks like it. I'm going to do a quick little test so you can hear what the motor sounds like when it runs, and you can also hear it die down. It's terrifying. It is a little terrifying. So right now I'm in auto mode, which will only allow the motor to run at what I have it set to, which is 600, no, 750 watts. So I'm going to arm the plane, and I'm going to throttle it up. So here we go. I'm going to full throttle it so you can hear it auto adjusting its current. So as you can see, it's blowing me the plane, forward. the plane is auto, uh, auto adjusting. Here's what Riley's view looks like. It's actually putting marks in my in my legs because it's pulling me so hard. Now, if I switch it to manual, you can see that the current no longer adjusts in that manner. So More! I'm gonna put it, there it goes. Put it in manual, and now I can override that. So now, listen how ridiculous this thing is. So with this particular prop, that was pumping a thousand watts and the battery's really low. So at full battery, that thing will pump 1500 watts or more, which is totally terrible. And uh, you definitely don't want to do that. So let's check Riley's view again. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're making progress. Yeah, and we're working on another plane. <laughs> we are actually working on another plane. I don't know if we've actually said anything about that plane. Nope. Yeah. We already actually have most of it done, but I until we, it. yeah, until we get this one flying and working correctly, we're not gonna fly that one because that one's gonna be harder to fly. This plane's a lot easier to to fly. Wait, but the other one has two wings. The other one has two wings, but they're both flat. Actually, the bottom one has a very very small thing but the wing is on the bottom and the top which makes it less stable so we got to make sure we have all our stuff set up here and then I'll take this convert it over to that one and it will have a starting place and we'll have to tune it a little bit look at that we we just used a thousand milliamp hours and there's 12,000 milliamp hours we only ran for like two minutes so it's like a 20 minute flight time at that full, at full power though, we're not gonna have it at full power all the time. But at full power. So anyway, that's where we're at. We got the GPS working. We understand. I understand the flight modes a little bit. I will tell you about the flight modes a little bit, uh, which I told Riley this morning. So there's different flight modes, and actually, let me just show you the uh, the flight modes that I have set up currently. So here is the flight modes I have set up currently. I will just zoom in on them. There we go. You can so, do that? Heck yeah, man. So, right now, Wait, can you see it the plane is disarmed. Whoa. Make sure it's disarmed. Okay, go back to setup. So, as you can see right now, I'm on stabilize. If I flip the switch here, now I'm in manual. 
I can go to uh, return to landing. I can go to uh, auto, which is your mission planning. And then I can go to uh, fly by wire A. Fly by wire B. So anyway, so I have these, these switches here on the top set up for different uh, for different flight modes. So I'm mixing the two channels together to give me more than just a three position because this is only a two and three position switch. Anyway, so I'm going to put it in uh, manual for now. It's disarmed. So I'll talk about the flight modes just briefly and then uh, we'll make that the end of this quick little update video. So I don't have loiter in here or cruise but Basically, um, you have manual, which lets you do exactly what the stick feeds it directly out. You have uh, fly. We have stabilize, which helps the plane level out. If you let go of the sticks, it will level out the plane. It'll also help you keep the thing level, but you can technically override everything. Um, but it also helps you with the bank angles a little bit. Uh, and then you got fly by wire A, which actually stabilizes. I don't know if it does bank angles, but fly by wire A allows you to not go too far this way but it doesn't really care about this way. Uh, so if you put on fly-by-wire B, it cares about this and this, and it helps, you, uh, it helps you not go down or up too fast. You can set that parameter. I have it set at four meters per second. So we will drop four meters per second and no more. And we can play with that. And I think I had that parameter wrong, and I tried to fly it, and I think that was part of my problem with the first flight. Bad, bad, bad. And then you have uh, auto, which is uh, basically when you're doing a mission planning, it'll do the mission you asked it to do. Then you have this thing called loiter, which is pretty cool. And basically, if you flick loiter, you can set a radius, and it'll just sit there and, and go around that radius at the uh, altitude that you set. And then you also have uh, uh, circle, which the thing will circle, but not hold the GPS location. It'll just circle. Like and the wind's blowing, yeah, it just it'll, it'll, will circle by and blow it. Yep, it'll blow down. Uh, and then you have um, the other mode that I think I'll use is, uh, what is it? It is called, well, there's one called Cruise. And there's one called, actually, I think Cruise is the, yeah, Guided. There's Cruise and Guided. Like guided is the one where you point it in a certain direction. It'll just keep going that direction. And it'll try to hold its altitude and stuff. And then the last one that I'm going to play with is return to landing. So it basically will fly back to where it thinks home is and circle at the radius you set it to. And then when you take over, like put it in stabilize, you can bring the plane down. Yeah, if you like lose your plane, just hit a button and it will fly back and circle. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. But first things first, got to get it in the air and bring it back down safely. Make sure it flies correctly. And then we can play around with these other features. So pretty exciting. The thing I really want to do is set up a geological fence. So you can set up a fence in Mission Planner and it'll stay inside that fence. So if you try to fly it into the fence, it'll turn it around and point it back. Which is pretty cool. Now I don't lose the plane again. Hopefully. But that's what return to landing uh, is for. So if you turn the remote off and you have your fail safe set up correctly, it'll actually return home also, which is kind of cool. But uh, unfortunately, if your radio dies and the plane's up there just circling, eventually it's going to run out of juice, so that's kind of interesting. But anyway, hopefully it'll bring it back. Like, let's say you fly it too far from your radio, it'll bring it back into range, which is pretty cool. Anyway, you have to set up all this stuff, so it's really confusing. And there's like literally 5,000 parameters to play with, and it's overwhelming. You don't use them all every time, but there's a bunch of stuff happening. So that's our update. We're going to try to fly this plane, I hope, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, today it's windy and the jets fly on Saturdays. I don't want to go over there with the jets. You'd be breaking a rule. No, you can do it. It just I don't want to fly with the jets. Too fast. Yeah. Destroy it. Yeah, and they're Maybe. really busy. It's a really busy day over there on Saturday. Sunday afternoon seems it's a little. That's when we went last time. Sunday afternoon it seemed a little more chill. No, actually we went on a weekday. We went on a Thursday. Because it was windy for months. That's the first day people were back at the airfield. Anyway, we're gonna go try to fly this thing again. I hope it works. You think it'll work? Yes. I do too, actually, because we got power. We got the power. Where before we, we had well, we, we power didn't to lift have off. the power. Just didn't have power to yeah, it took off fine, but when it got in the air, it just didn't seem like it wanted to do what I wanted it to do. And first one, kind of And I'll show you the data log here in a second, uh, which is kind of cool. But the first time we flew this thing, um, 
I had the ailerons backwards. Our Drew Pilot was trying to autocorrect, but I was trying to do the opposite with my stick. I checked it, we checked it, we looked at it, we saw it wrong. So I was in a, I wasn't in a super hurry, but I wasn't in a just chill state. So, and we got rubber bands to uh, put the wings on this time. And times. capture a bird. Yeah. I can't it's the universe bird, but the bird. Yeah, they have no idea what you're talking about, but that's okay, don't worry about it. It's a bird. Anyway, so I'm going to show you real quick the old flight so you can see it's pretty cool. What? We flew that. Sort of. We flew that and then we walked that, and then we flew that and then we walked that. <laughs> can you tell which one's flights and which one's walks? Probably that, and then that's probably flying, and then that's probably flying, and then it ends there and then you get a walk that. Exactly. So if you look at it from this direction, you can see the altitude. Whoa! Alright, we're rolling again. So, um, I was going to change the flight, or the, uh, the plane size. So this is pretty cool. Uh, you can set up your altitude so you can see what's actually happening with your altitude. I need water. Need water. She needs water. You can see your sticks. Um, you can do some other stuff and then you can also uh, plot some data. So let's say I wanted to plot the uh, the radio channels versus... Oh, I don't know, I could do all kinds of stuff, but if I plotted like channel 3 and... Swallow slobber wrong. You okay? Yep. And let's plot altitude. I'll just put the pitch on there. So, Riley, you can plot all this data during the flight. So, I'm going to try to change the, uh, the plane size. Oh, there's no video. Okay, so you could do the video, onboard video, if you had it. Well, anyway, we taxied, we taxied the plane out. Why is there a shadow right there? If I hit play. There's a shadow. We taxied the plane out. I'll hit play. Stop. Whoops, I, I'm messing with the data up here. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh I no. waited, I waited there for a second. Alright, so I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna try to zoom in so they can see a little better. Oh no, I'll leave it. It's flying! So we went down, we turned around, and the plane's not quite square on here. The, the stuff must have been messed up, which I think was also a problem. We need to calibrate it better. But I took off, and it went straight to the left, flew it up, realized I had the wrong aileron set up, tried to get it from my mind to go the other direction, so I turned it around, and then boom! Into the dirt, right there. And then it stopped, and we went and picked it up. Why is it still moving? Because that's what it did. Oh, and then we picked and it, it up. Drifted. So we picked it up, we walked it back, we did some work, changed the prop, we had it on the whole time. Then we then we waited, and then once we got it going again, so I taxied it out again. Hold on, Lily. So I taxied it out again. And it's going under the ground for some reason because the altitude's so close to the ground. So this time, if I tilt it like this, you can actually see the altitude. It's on the ground because we were walking, and then no, there I flew it. So it's up in the air. F flew it around. Tried to try to big 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 circle. I tried to gain some altitude, but realized that I was losing speed, I believe. And so I brought it down to the ground and set it down back on the ground. And then I think it rolled. And then it kind of went BOOM! <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. Yeah. So you can see my sticks and what was actually happening during the flight. And then you can also up here and you can draw in like all this eyes. all this data. Daddy, where's mom? Uh, I'm not sure, Lil. It's a so it's, some... it's pretty cool because you can really like, you can go through all the data. So I went through all this data and I figured out that uh, I just didn't have the uh, the speed 
I was losing altitude because I didn't have the the amount of uh, lift that we needed because the planes are really heavy. That was funny. So, yeah, it crashes into the ground and it like it rolls, Whee! it flips, like flips up. It's like a race. Yeah. And then it flips Whoa. upside down. And then this is kind of the GPS drifting is why it's doing that. So using this analysis and all this data and all the cool stuff that I that I have in here, I realized what I did wrong. It went underground. And uh, yeah, basically, oh, we didn't have enough lift, Riley. That's basically what happened. So we fixed that problem. Let's see if we can get this up in the air. Go eat some food. I'm hungry. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless you guys. Have a good day. And as always, read the Bible more. It's the only way I get through my day sometimes. Peace out. Bye.